Hi, my name is Julian uh, Schiberges. I uh, work for the Bernstein Group and I'm consulting for Kerberos Compliant Management Systems. I think the, uh, the reason we chose Neo4j and subsequently then uh, chose uh, Structure was that we felt that Neo4j was, was at the head of the pack when it came to graph databases at the time. So we're talking about uh, 2016, I think. And we just felt that uh, the, 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 the offer as database was the, the well-rounded for us to the purposes. And um, I think we also we believed in Neo4j because it was, it was a, a company that started with graph databases. A lot of other companies, a lot of other projects, they, they come from different fields and then they move to onto graph database. I think Neo4j started with that. So we felt, okay, they understood the, the idea behind it. When I, when I look at a project, I, I don't look at it always from a, from a very technical perspective. I think this is thanks to structure because structure does a lot of that work for you. Uh, I look more uh, on it from a, from a domain level expertise. And I think what Neo4j did for us, and I think in that well, our supported us doing was looking at very complex networks and having this aha effect uh, when looking at them. Uh, because before you didn't, you didn't see many of those things. You didn't see very complex structures and you didn't see connections that happened at the fourth or fifth level. And I think Neo4j enabled us to see beyond the, the immediate um, customer or the immediate franchise you needed to, to verify. And for us it was a very rewarding experience after we got the, the prototype running to actually have this kind of view and actually see, okay, well, there, there is something. We kind of knew there was, we couldn't really prove it, but then we saw it. I think our, our industry, we're talking about compliance here, um, I think it's still very much business, a lot of, a lot of lawyers. It's not, um, IT does not play as strong a role as it could be. And I think that's partly because um, not so many people think about graph databases because I think graph databases are the natural solution to many of the problems because about compliance, we, we think about, you know, how do companies and people relate to each other, relate to documents, you know, what documents do you need? And I think graph databases are a natural fit there. Um, so I think we will see a lot of, um, I think RecTech is the, the expression used here, uh, RecTech companies that will actually use graph databases in the, in the coming years to solve those problems.